Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink with the first video of my 2022 Halloween card series. For those not aware, I have been doing this for over a decade now. I have a thing for Halloween cards, love making them, don't ask me why. <laughs> I'm not even that big on Halloween in general, but I love making Halloween cards and the series has become a thing. Also of note, uh, no schedule. I, I will just be posting these all over the place, like everything. I can't follow a schedule. My life's too chaotic. So anywho, let's get into the actual cards. So I'm using the Tangled Web embossing folder from Simon Says Stamp. This came out last year. Yeah. And I am embossing just uh, Ranger Distress watercolor paper with it. So I lightly misted the watercolor paper. And then I put it in the folder. I'm putting it on the platform base for my spell binders. I have the extended um, platforms now, like with the extended plates and everything else. I showed that in a recent haul video. So I have the platform, the folder with the watercolor paper in it, and then a cutting plate. Run that through my die cut machine. So it's got that fabulous spiderweb texture embossing on it. And then on the back of both of these pieces, I am sticking them to my misty sticky grid mats that I've cut down to A2 size. This just helps keep them a little bit flatter because I'm going to be using a lot of water and I don't want them, you know, curling up and everything running off the edges, that sort of a thing. And then I've laid out my flower sack cloth, which is nice and stained. I kind of like how it looks. <laughs> laid that out. And then I'm using Nouveau shimmer powders. So I've got meteor, meteorite shower is the first one. I could have done it with just this because there's like other colors that come out when you spray it with water, but I like to mix them all. So I use meteorite shower, lilac waterfall to get some purple going. And then I'm going to add some blue blitz and cherry bomb as well. And like I always say with these, it, it takes a little bit of practice and playing around. Um, I've been using these for however many years now. I forget when they first came out. <laughs> I've done a ton of videos. I'll have an entire playlist. It's on my YouTube channel. I've done a ton of videos using these. So I'm just very used to them. You just, you got to play with them to figure out like your kind of water to powder ratio, that sort of thing. So anyway, sprinkle the powders, sprayed this heavily with water, and then you leave it. Walk away. Just walk away. And honestly, as this was drying, I had to keep reminding myself to walk away because I was like, oh, this looks awful. <laughs> when it was drying, it just, I can't explain. I just, I was like, this is a mistake. This is a mess. I'm gonna have to redo it. Meh. But I followed my own advice and just left it till it was dry. And then I used some white pigment ink. This is Ink on 3's Shark Tooth White Pigment Ink. Rolled a brayer through it, rolled it on, rolled it onto these backgrounds. And that just kind of helped bring back the um, actual raised spiderweb pattern. It's not intense, but that's not what I wanted. I just wanted it as is. And because there's more open areas, you know, further away from that center of the web, uh, some of the ink got onto like the recessed portions. I'm not too worried about it. But all I ended up doing, I just took a wet brush. I wasn't even sure this would work because, you know, you could be reactivating the shimmer powders, just turning things into a hot mess. But it kind of did work. I just kind of took that wet brush and wiped it over those spots where too much of the pigment ink got onto these backgrounds. Wiped it away, worked it kind of into it, and it's good to go. You know, it's still not perfect, but again, perfection's overrated. And that's another reason why I love Halloween cards because... You can, you can be extra messy with them. <laughs> it's kind of the point. So I did that. And then I took black soot distress paint, put that on my palette, took my fan brush, added some splatter, of course. So once I've got the splatter on here, I'm going to let these dry or like let the splatter dry. For the most part, they were mostly dry by this point. Um, so let those dry. And while they were drying, I die cut my sentiment. This is the trick or treat um, wafer die set from CZ Design. This also came out actually a couple years ago, I think. 
like three years ago. This one's been out for a while. I've used it several times. I love it. I love this font. It does have an outline as well. And I think I usually would use this like with just one layer and then the outline because it is a little more finicky. But things like this, when I'm stacking wafer dies and there's, you know, multiple pieces, it's a little finicky. I just put on like some music, put on a video, kind of zone out and do my thing. And that's what I did. So I die cut the layers from Simon's Doll Pink cardstock. And then I'm using Craft Tacky Glue. And I'm using my detail bottle. If you watch my videos, you know, I've got a bottle of this glue that I have just screwed on um, a fine metal tip to. And then I keep, and I'll have a link to that fine metal tip as well. And then I just keep a pin in it, like a sewing pin, a non-rusting one. And yeah. It works great. So I stacked all those sentiments together, set them aside. The splatter's dry. So I'm trimming down this background to be smaller than my A2 card base. And I first just trimmed off a bit and I was like, mm, no, it needs more. <laughs> so trimmed off more. So it ends up being like three and three quarters by five inches. I do that to both backgrounds. And then I pulled out um, just some white cardstock and this CZ Design Creepy Crawlers stamp. I was originally going to use the Simon Says stamp. It has a spiderweb like background stamp that I've also done videos on, of course. Um, I was going to use that on the inside of the card, but then I was like, ooh, this would be really cute. <laughs> so I used this instead. So I just have the stamp face up on my desk. I inked it up with Simon's Guava Positively Saturated Ink. I didn't stamp it perfectly. I'm not too concerned about it. Because again, Halloween, also inside of card. When it's the inside of the card, I'm not as picky, you know? Or I don't worry about like, oh no, I need to cover this up. Because in the end, like once I've added my sentiments and then when I write to the recipient, it's not going to matter. So stamp that onto these pieces because my card base is going to be black cardstock. So I wanted to just add this. I don't always add another piece to the inside of my cards when it's dark cardstock. Sometimes I'll leave just the dark cardstock and then I'll just use like a gel pen, like a white gel pen or a metallic gel pen to write to the recipient. Again, just depends on my mood. But this way, this enabled me to stamp that little background with the pink, you know, pink little spiders. How can you go wrong? And I say this every time and I mean it. I am, I have a serious spider phobia, like horribly bad. It's awful. Like, I will cry. <laughs> I don't like them in real life, but for Halloween and for card making and paper and ink and little die cut spiders and little googly eyes on them. Love it. Love it. Even creepy ones. Creepy, creepy little spiders on cards. Totally kosher with that. It does not phase me in the least. I'll, I like them. It's great. Just not real ones. Mm. Okay. Anyway, I coated the back of both of those uh, spiderweb panels with Studio Cadia black foam tape. This stuff is super, super sticky. I think I've mentioned this before when I use her foam tapes. Um, they're very sticky. So I use either my fine tip scissors or my like die release tool. And that's how I showed there to um, peel up just the corners of the release paper on the tape because literally this stuff is insanely sticky, but I like that. I would rather it be too sticky than not sticky enough. Nothing's worse than like things falling off your card after, you know, you made them, put them on display, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's, I just, yeah, use my little, use something sharp and pointy, peels up the release paper and we're good to go. So after I had adhered those to the card base, I adhered my sentiments. Again, there is an outline. I thought about die cutting the outline from like vellum, but instead... I just went with just the words themselves, had them stacked together, and then stuck them onto uh, both these backgrounds with craft tacky glue again. And then I'm using some CZ Design, like Halloween sentiment strips. I'm not even sure when these came out, like last year, year before, something. Everything I used, with the exception of like one thing, I will have links to. It's still available. I double checked before I started this series. Because I'm right now, I'm going through some of my older products. I will have some newer stuff in upcoming videos. But you guys know, I like to use things that I've had, you know, and, and use them multiple times. That's the whole point. So anywho, adhered my sentiments, adhered the dots to the I in the word trick. Did that separately because it's just easier that way. Using my little embellishment wand and you just dab a little bit of glue, stick on the dot and then stack it. Works perfectly. 
adhered the little panels to the insides of the cards. And then I have another little sentiment strip here that I trimmed out of those. And these ones, I'm covering the edges with a black marker. It just gives it that little extra bit of like finishing. You know, it just covers that exposed edge of the white cardstock and just makes it look better in my opinion. So just ran that along the edges of these pieces. And then once those had that in place, I took um, some little Simon foam squares, like black foam squares. These are the thin foam squares. And I trimmed them into little strips so that they'd fit on these tiny little uh, sentiments. So just trim those down, pop those onto the back of these sentiments. And then I'm going to pop these into place right below each of these sentiments. So it says trick or treat, happy Halloween. So got those into place. And then I wanted to enhance the jacket sentiment just a bit. So I'm using my uh, Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Clear Glitter Gloss Brush Pen. Um, love. Must own. You get a pack of two, FYI, when you order them. Um, and they last for the longest time. I've had these for years. I have backups of them, but I'm still working on, I think, on the same ones. I think I've only run out of, like, one. Anyway, they look like nothing on camera, and they're really subtle in real life. But, of course, I will show at the end of the video with my flashlight just how sparkly these are. Love, 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 love. So painted that onto these. And then for my embellishments, this is the one thing I don't have a link to. I have these little spider confetti pieces. They were in a mix uh, by Little Things by Lucy's Cards. I've used her like sequin mixes and jewels and gems and all the things for years and years. I have piles of them piles and I ordered these you know last year year before, whenever it was they were in my little container with a bunch of Halloween stuff <laughs> and I was like oh they are too perfect for these cards again you know don't like the real ones but these ones are cute so I adhered those into place and that finished off the cards so like I said I'm going to show with the flashlight because right now they don't this doesn't really look like much but I've got the shimmer of the background and the texture with the shimmer powders and then the sparkly sentiments and it's just fun and I did actually show um because people do ask when I use the shimmer powders like do you need to seal them I never do ever I've never once used any sort of sealant they're fine I've never had a problem with it rubbing off but I also don't rub my fingers all over my cards this is the one rare exception that I'm going to do that just because I could. Um, like Tim Holt says, don't lick your artwork. <laughs> it's the same thing. Like you don't need to lick it. You don't need to rub your hands all over it. But this doesn't come off. You know, I used enough water that it just like sets into the cardstock. So yeah. Anywho. Anywho. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I will have links to everything I used in the description box below the video. I'll link to my blog post. I'll have picture links in the blog post. All those fun things. Like I said earlier, uh, the Halloween series is just random. I love doing it, but I don't have, I can't do a schedule because the minute I try, all hell breaks loose. So there'll be, I'll have all kinds of random videos in and amongst all the Halloween ones. It's just going to be loads of fun. So just stay tuned. And always thank you so much for subscribing, for thumbs upping, for commenting. It really tells the robot overlords you guys are liking what you're seeing. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.